Good morning. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Medja would pounce on no Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated, honestly. Hey. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Maybe they are entertained or perhaps un inconvenienced. Probably inconvenienced. I see. People with common sense would think that. Is that your personal opinion too? Still, the vast majority are simply entertained by it. They've stopped thinking critically altogether. So this is what the public thinks. Whoops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable in opinion. I'll see you around. I don't get it. There hasn't been any news on the Phantom Thieves v Medjet showdown. Which of them will come out on top? They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. If you ask me, Medjet causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon. But well, you gotta tell me who. Who do you think will win? Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Oh. Got a lot of messages from an unknown account? Nice to meet you! I am the one they call Alibaba. I want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal hearts? Who is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There's some someone whose heart I'd like you to steal. But I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjet, correct? I can give you information on them if the change of heart is successful. If you so desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe my skills? I can track down their accounts just as I have with yours. But this is all I can prove at the moment. I've prepared the necessary tool on my end. Look forward to it. Shouldn't you respond to it? How should I respond? Who is this? I can't find the account to send the response to. All I get it back is an error message. Hmm? You can't reply can't back. Reply back? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Now, it's probably easy to hack into our phones and look at our chat history. So, oh, but they would talk about this all along. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems so. How were we found out? Chat history, cell phones, it's pretty easy. He may have traced our chat lock. Yup. Smarty pants. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? Yeah, if you're a hacker, it's probably easy to triangulate it. I don't know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. If it's online, on a server somewhere, it's definitely, definitely possible. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? From the server? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Because it's not a real phone. Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. No, that doesn't make sense. That one does not make sense. That's possible? No. Actually, hold on. No, that doesn't make sense. Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait. Might this be what is referred to as hacking? Hey, Yusuke gets it. Then, does that mean this guy's a hacker? I don't get high-tech stuff. What does this all mean? An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? 
No. I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. She. That is, only if we take his words for face value. Her. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. Oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? No! He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. Yes. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? Uh... I mean, just... Yeah, actually, there's probably enough proof to put us in jail. No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. He did offer us a deal after all. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? Oh shit. Oh shit. Is it the tool? Oh. <laughs> What's with the big group? Oh. What? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. She's our student council president. Nijima. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. Uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. Have a good day, old man. We have late-breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over what? The thieves. What? Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Come on, it's in English. <laughs> Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. This proves that we are just. People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. We will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. We are Mejed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it says. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Probably digital possessions. Hard drive. Stuff. Information. Perhaps bank accounts or personal information? Yep. Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. Hey, so what's this letter about? Alibaba? I don't need any more trouble. Alibaba. It's rare for you to get something like this. True. A 
calling card. Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Oh dear. <laughs> Those Takayaki balls look really good though. I'm just staring and drooling right now. Uh, I've really started turning the heat up on the forum. I put a special post up and everything. The showdown between the just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjet is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone is really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because of what happened to the Kaneshiro case. Those on the other side say Medjet are hackers of justice. But there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday, I want the whole site to be filled with pro thieves comments. I look forward to when that day finally arrives. You can look forward to whatever you want, but we have no means of striking back med against Medjed. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. Mm. First the Alibaba character and now blank calling card. What the hell is going on? We don't nearly have enough intel. All we can do now is wait for them to make a move. Is Phantom Thief? Having your money stolen sounds terrifying. It's unsettling not knowing what they're going to do with us. They're declaring their victory? What does that mean? I wish they'd stop that. Hmm? Hey, your phone's buzzing. Did Alibaba message you? Come on. Uh, it's just Rigi. Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Man! Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? Good day! Good day to you too! Ah, you responded today! Once again, I am Alibaba. You are the f leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Mm. I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card? <sighs> so it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Yeah. Mm. You are a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Wait, what do you... Steal from who? What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Hey, hey! We need the name of the target. I need a name. A name? Is your true... Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Hmm, I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well, I will tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail in this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Who's Futaba Sakura? Oh. For real? So he threatened you and just took off? And Sakura? I feel like I heard that meme before. In any case, we should just let everyone know about this. 
No, it's not really ringing any bells for me. I don't know who that is. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Yeah, it's called blackmail. Taba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura... It's boss's last name! What? Does he have any family? Does he? I don't know. For reals? How laid back are you? Hey, man! He doesn't ask questions, I don't ask questions. Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? No. I mean, you are living at his place. I mean, he's had a shady past. I've had a shady past. We don't talk about that stuff. Well, his situation does make things difficult. The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Uh. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. That makes sense. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? Nope. I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. So we're being tested. Hmm. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Hmm? What's up? Want to meet Futaba? Why do you know about that? <sighs> it's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Looks like it's a hit. Oh, I just remembered. Masi, were you able to talk? To, uh, uh, were you able to ask Boss about Futaba Sakura? Yeah, you don't want to talk about it. Could there be a reason as to why that is? Hmm, Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Medjid. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of Boss, but trying to force it would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both Boss and Masi. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's probably best for wait, uh, best to wait for Boss to bring the subject up himself. Well, this time we don't really have a deadline. It's just as soon as possible. Uh, I guess. First there was Medjid, now I have Baba, and now Futaba Sakura. We don't have any info on them. What in the world is going on? Is Igor- does Igor know anything about this, Futaba? Come on, man. The guy knows almost everything in the world. All the most deep shit. He even- Yo. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you could kiss your summer vacation goodbye. Oh yeah, about this Futaba Sakura girl? If she's related to the boss, think people living nearby would know about her? Wow! That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Oh, I never want to think about exams again. Anyway, ask around your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. <laughs> uh, 
Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow. But don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district. And then don't go to the beach after dark. I wanna go to the beach. I wanna jump in some cold water. Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. That's not something a cat would say. You might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've got nothing to lose. Let's head to Yongin and gather info around the neighborhood. It's a pretty small neighborhood, thankfully. Futaba? Futaba. Mm, yes, I know that name. I heard it somewhere before. Mm. Mm. This is the name of my first love, my teacher back when I was in elementary school. Okay. She's a teacher? Futaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Uh, yeah. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's the boss who eats a lot then. What? He's buying more food? Is that why he's asking about the fridge? Futaba? Who is that? I don't know anyone about that day. Hmm. But wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they found out you're snooping on them? Alright. It's not that way. Utaba. Hmm, nope. Don't know anyone like that. I come to Sakura-san's so often to make deliveries, but I've never seen or talk. I've never seen who you're talking about. Oh, okay. Strange. Maybe they're deceased? Utaba. No, no, I don't know who that, that could be. Uh... Sakura-san's sing link single, right? I don't think he didn't- I thought he didn't have any children. So up until now, my biggest lead seems to be... Boss buys a lot of food, far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Uh... Look into- oh my god, what? Wait a minute, what? Hmm, a vintage got game console. Could I actually sell it if I throw in some games? I'm not actually sure if anyone would buy a game console this old though. I would! Yo, if you have a Super Nintendo, mister, then I will be all over that. Hey! This place is close to the Bank, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome! Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything, sorry. Come again. That doesn't mm, look like it'll work. We didn't find anything at Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Oh god. You don't keep poking the hornet's nest! Especially if they're still- oh god. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. What? You're okay with that outcome? What? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. That's fucked up, Sai. What the hell? Like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. What? You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. 
fine. I yield. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. Amen to that. What's with that look? Um, you got something to say? Yeah, so, uh, about Futaba. Custody? This doesn't involve you. Is she your daughter? That's enough. Just behave yourself. And keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Is that what this is all about? He's taking care of me as like a way to prove that he could take custody of his daughter. Mm, the existence of this Futaba is for certain. She may be in some kind of bad situation though. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though, especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Hmm. Hmm. To be honest, I'm getting enough money to live on my own, so... It's not too much of a concern, other than... Well, the whole me being on parole, probation, blah blah blah. Mm. Guess we won't find the answers just by thinking about it. Let's go to bed. I don't think it's parole. I think it's probation. Right? That's the word I'm looking for. 